Hi everyone, today's unboxing is for the quarterly subscription service to the Literary Book Club, which is a book subscription service. And as I said, quarterly. So these boxes are shipped every March, June, September, and December of the year. They include a collectible edition of a classic book and then some curated gifts to go along with that, with that book. Um, you can get lifestyle gifts, luxury products, self-care products, stuff for book lovers. Uh, there's just a whole, a whole mess of good stuff in this box. Um, the box is $74.99 plus $11.99 shipping, so it's almost $87. And they do offer special edition boxes that you can get. So I would recommend if you're not subscribed, because subscribers get first shot at the special edition boxes. Um, but even if you're not a subscriber, that you do get onto their mailing list, their newsletter list, and they will let you know when they have those special edition boxes available. Okay, so this is the December 2023 box. Let's dive in and take a look to see what we got. All right. So right on top we have our swag and we also have the... Um, postcard for the book itself. I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library. Jane Austen. So true, isn't it? Okay, so let's open this one up. I just love this, this wax seal. Isn't this gorgeous? Now, if you are, um, if you're a subscriber, they announce the book that is coming. So we always know the book. We just don't know the items. And so I know which book this is going to be. And the book is Mansfield Park. I'm going to look at the back of the car. Okay. So here is uh, some information about it. It says, Shy young Fanny Price is sent to live with wealthy relatives at Mansfield Park, where of her four cousins, only Edmund shows her any real kindness. When the wealthy, flirtatious Henry Crawford and his vivacious sister Mary arrive in the neighborhood, Fanny's world is thrown into disarray. Edmund falls under the spell of Mary, while Henry declares his love for Fanny, but the path to happiness doesn't run smoothly. And then there's a list of items from our box in the bottom. So no spoilers ahead of time. Okay, so let's dive into our swag we have a <clears throat> the book plate a sticker book plate a sticker with the with one of the quotes a fondness for reading reading properly directed must be an education in itself and a bookmark i am very strong nothing ever fatigues me but doing what i do not like And we can see we have the rose theme going. Okay, well, let's pull out our padding. Oh, it's, everything's nicely padded. Ooh. Okay. So starting with, we have a couple of things for different pages. So when we get to page 19, Ooh, and I can already I can smell something already. I'm not sure what the fragrance is because it's very light, but I am getting a fragrance. Okay, so when we get to page 19, <laughs> we have gooseberry candy. Green gooseberry candy. That was not the fragrance I was getting. So that'll be interesting when we get to that page to see what that is. Okay, and then I have, when we get to page 416, I love these little bags. <laughs> I can tell you, just as an aside, because I'm, I'm actually filming this after Christmas. So um, I love these bags, and I, and I know I mentioned it in a lot of videos that these make great um, stocking stuffer bags. You can put your stocking stuffers in them. 
Uh, I have to admit, I'm collecting them. I have like a mass of them, but I did not do the majority of my wrapping this year. My daughter did, and I forgot to tell her about the bags. So by the time I remembered I had all these stocking stuffer bags, <laughs> she had already wrapped them in paper. <laughs> oh, well, maybe next year. Okay, so when we get to page 416, I still think that would be a good idea, though. I have a hand-poured soy candle. Get lit, Arari. And this is in the library. Fragrance, old books, eucalyptus, and lavender. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm loving the smell of that. I love the smell of that. Am I getting library? Maybe. Maybe. I could, I could kind of think library from that. Okay. And then... I have a while you read. We always get a while you read. It's a drink usually that you can make and enjoy while you're reading. And this month we have a decaf reading nook tea in black. Um, so it's a black decaf black tea, rose petals, lavender, chamomile, white corn flour, vanilla essence. I love that. Um, I think that's so appropriate for Jane Austen. It's England. It's, you know, that's a time frame when tea was a big deal. I am not personally a tea drinker, so I always give these to my husband. He enjoys them. <laughs> He's very much a connoisseur of tea, so he loves trying these ones I get in the boxes. Okay, and then before we get even more, we have the actual book. So actually, I'm going to I'm going to actually slide this to the side here. We'll come back to that. Okay, and then I have a open when the last page has been read. So we always get different page numbers, things to open while we're reading. We um, get the while we're reading drink. And then we also always get something to open after we finish the book. Ah, and we have another book. This month we have... The Black Moth by Georgette Heyer. Oh my goodness. How cool. I got to read this to see what it's about. Exiled, accused of being a gambler and a cheat, Lord Jack Carstairs roams the roads of rural England by the name of Sir Anthony Ferndale, searching for carriages to rob. When an encounter risks at revealing his identity, however, Carstairs receives an unexpected chance at redemption. Oh my goodness. I'm excited because I... Um, have a couple of books on my shelf by Georgette Heyer. Um, Re she writes Regency romance. I'm not sure is it's this is this a romance? I don't know. We're redeeming a highwayman. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so I'm just excited because it's Georgette Heyer, and I like I said I got a few books of hers on my shelf, so I'm like that's kind of a, a goal of mine in the next years to read some of her books. So I'm loving that we got this. Okay, and then I have, going back to our pages, when we get to page 191, look, and this, the bag's got the quote on it as well. When we get to 191, we have, uh, I'm not sure, like a little scarf. But indeed, I would rather not, I would rather have nothing but tea, Jane Austen. Uh, it's a quote from the book. It look. I'm not sure, it's got the, um, it's very big for a kitchen towel, but it's got the uh, texture of a kitchen towel. So I guess we'll see when we look at the, uh, the information. Okay, so there's that. And then in the bottom of the box, I'll pull out the last item and I'm going to move the box aside and the card. Okay, let's move the box aside. Okay, the last item that we have besides the book is our, um, this is just for uh, wall art. It's like cardstock. It's a quote from the book printed on cardstock, eight and a half by 11. You can frame it and put it on your wall. And we always get one of those in every box. Okay, now, we already know the book, but let's go and take a look at the book. The book this month is Mansfield Park 
by Jane Austen. <laughs> you can see where the roses came from because we have that on the book itself. It is a hardcover. It is a Chiltern edition. Um, I love these editions. Look, it's got the gold foiling along the edges. It's hardcover. There's a bookmark. Um, there's just so much to love about these copies. And, and this might seem like a silly thing to some people, but one of the things I really enjoy about these particular copies is they're all the same size. So they all fit beautifully together on my bookshelf. So even if I didn't read them, which of course I'm trying to work my way through the classics. So I have not actually read Mansfield Park. I think I might have seen the movie, but I don't remember a whole lot about it. That was way back when. Um, so in my quest to actually get some reading done of classics, I've, I'm going to have that one on my list. Okay, so let's take a look at what was in our box. Um, we have in, in your box, we have the collectible classic book, Mansfield Park, the Chiltern Edition, there. We have the swag bag, which was the sticker, the book plate, and the bookmark. We have the 8x10 art print, the While You Read Reading Nook Tea, the Page 19 Gooseberry Hard Candy, the Page 191 Exclusive Custom Made Tea Towel. Okay, I said it had the consistency of a kitchen towel, so it's a tea towel. And then at page 416, we have the Library Candle. And then open when the last page has been read, the Black Moth paperback book. If you like Jane Austen, you'll also enjoy this fun Regency romance written by Georgette Heyer in 1921. So that is everything that I got in my December 2023 uh, Literary Book Club box. So if you like this video, please take a moment to hit the like button down below. And also, if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, it'll let you know when I post my unboxings. And as always, I love your comments. What would you think of the items in this box? Have you read Mansfield Park or The Black Moth by Georgette Heyer? Or if you just want to say hi, that's okay too. I love your comments. I read and respond to them all. So what do I think of this box? Well, I, I recommend this box. I love this box. We get really great copies. Um, the ones in the last like year and a half have been Chiltern copies, which I'm just loving the Chiltern copies of everything. I think they do a fabulous job of curating to the books. Now, I haven't looked at the pages to see where they are, but I have done in the past gone through the books uh, and opened the gifts at the time when I get to the pages, and they do, they do a great job of curation. I love, love when we get a second book. <laughs> oh, that just speaks to my book lover's heart. So I especially love this one because we got the Georgette Heyer book. So... Um, yeah, so I love this book. I think the price point is good. I mean, it's not on the higher end, but it uh, um, there's a lot of stuff. And it's just one of those things. For me, I'm glad it's quarterly. I don't think I could afford to do it if it was monthly, but I love that it's quarterly and I save up for it. And I'm always pleased with with what I get in the box. So I definitely recommend this box. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day.